Hey everybody, Dan here from Pain Free U. Long day here, couldn't go outside fishing, there's smoke from the fires, so I'm basically stuck in the cottage. Anyway, today's topic is going to be going from avoiding to allowing. Alright, so get to that in a second. Fortunately, the wildfire smell is not in the cottage, but outside it's brutal. Air quality index 208. It just very unhealthy, it says. So not able to enjoy the nature out here and get out on the lake. So <sighs> hope everybody's good. So today I wanted to talk about going from avoiding to allowing. Right? So for many of us in chronic symptoms or chronic pains. We do a lot to avoid the symptoms. I'm not going to lay still. I'm not going to sit. I'm not going to stand. I'm not going to walk. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to eat that food. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. And so avoidance, as I've said before, avoidance basically confirms your brain's belief that you're in danger. So if we want to make progress in moving forward, we want to go from avoidance to allowing ourselves but allowing ourselves to do what? To do more. Allow ourselves to do more, even though symptoms may jump up a little bit. Allow ourselves to experience the sensations that we're so busy trying to avoid, right? And I've said before, and I truly believe this, in order to eliminate the symptoms, you have to be willing to feel them. Because avoiding symptoms, let's say you can get comfortable in bed, laying in a certain position, and that's how you spend your life because you're so terrified of the symptoms or the pains that you just want to avoid them at all costs. Your brain is only learning that moving your body is dangerous. And what do you think is going to happen? Let's say you can get three years of pain-free time by laying in a certain position in your bed. What happens when you say, all right, well, I think I need to get back to life. You start moving again, your brain is going to go, whoa, what are you doing? You've just spent a lot of time teaching your brain that the only safe place is in bed. So avoiding only confirms your brain's perception that the thing you're avoiding is dangerous. So if you are going to want to move forward and eliminate the pain, you need to be willing to feel the pain or the symptoms in order to teach your brain that they're okay. So allowing yourself to do more to experience more, to step out of your comfort zone, to expand your capacity, it may create some symptoms, and that's okay. But it's how we respond when the symptoms come along that's really important. Okay? So we want to go from avoiding to allowing. Allow yourself to do more. Allow yourself to experience the symptoms so that you can practice responding to the sensations in a way that will actually teach your brain something useful, like I'm okay even though I have sensations. So avoiding is not the solution. Allowing yourself to do more is ab absolutely part of the solution. Um, so it's a short video tonight. Not a lot behind this one. In order to eliminate the symptoms, you have to be willing to feel them and start expanding your capacity. Do things gradually if you need to or want to, uh, to go easy so you don't create a huge flare-up that takes a while to get out of. But here's the point. If you start doing more and the symptoms jump, it's not proof that you're broken. It's just proof that your brain's in a protective mode. It's overreacting to you starting to do more. What's the best way to respond to that? Calm, clarity, certainty. Call it out for exactly what it is and say, I know exactly what's going on. My brain's just overprotective. It doesn't like the fact that I'm doing more. But I'm okay. And if you can respond calmly without launching into freak out like, oh no, I shouldn't have done that. But if you can respond calmly, consistently, your brain will eventually notice the fact that he's doing more, he's feeling symptoms, and he's not concerned about the symptoms. So do you see how going from avoiding to allowing is leading you down the path towards recovery? 
Because staying in avoidance is really not that beneficial. So I'm going to wrap it up. I appreciate everybody. Love you all. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.